All right, as I sat down to watch WWE SummerSlam 2018, I basically was strolling around the internet looking at all the uh, internet rumors that were out there as of today. Uh, you know, every time there's a, a big WWE pay per view, there's always big stories coming out, headlines grabbing your attentions, wanting to, uh, people to head on over to certain sites and basically see what uh, they think is going to happen. And there was a headline. Nikki Bella versus Ronda Rousey to headline WWE Evolution 2018. I was very surprised. I was honestly surprised to the point where I thought there was no way in the world that this match was going to happen. And in between the first and second match of the night after the uh, Seth Rollins versus uh, um, Dolph Ziggler match going into the uh, New Day uh, versus the Bludgeon Brothers... We have an interview with the Bellas who were in town uh, to basically do some uh, meet and greet type of things. Uh, New York, uh, up in Brooklyn, they don't really run access like they did in Los Angeles. Uh, they just have meet and greets basically spread all over the city, um, whether if it's at uh, you know Amazon centers, Toys R Us, well, they don't have those anymore. But you get what I'm saying. Just different places around. Um, you, you could go there to sort of thank all of the uh, WWE sponsors um, that, that helped them out uh, throughout the year. But uh, during that interview, uh, they were asked if they were going to be making their return at Evolution. Both of them said that they were uh, you know, focusing on Total Bellas and Total Divas, as well as Birdie B and their YouTube channel. But uh, Nikki Bella did say that she is thinking about making her return. Uh, doesn't know if it's going to be at Evolution, but uh, tonight... She's at SummerSlam to have fun. She is going to be sitting front row to watch the Ronda Rousey uh, versus Alexa Bliss match. Um, that is one more thing to be thinking about. Uh, you know, definitely in everyone's mind. We all think it's a slam dunk um, that Ronda Rousey is going to be winning uh, the WWE Women's Championship for Monday Night Raw tonight. But uh, after the announcement of Alexa Bliss versus Trish Stratus, my mind immediately went to... Why would they make that match? Why would they promote it so soon if Alexa Bliss was not going to be the women's champion? Uh, WWE did release that information yesterday. They did publicly tweet it out. They, in the tweets, did call Alexa Bliss the, uh, the Raw Women's Champion, as she is right now. But uh, that just makes me wonder, when is something coming uh, for Ronda Rousey not to win tonight. A lot of people thought that Ronda was going to win at um, uh, Money in the Bank against Nia Jax, but Alexa Bliss took that moment to cause the disqualification and then cash in and win um, the, uh, the Women's Championship at Money in the Bank. So um, is something like that going to happen tonight where due to the disqualification, Alexa Bliss might lose the match? But she keeps her championship to escape, to, to fight Trish Stratus in October. Um, that's setting up uh, Ronda Rousey versus Nikki Bella. Um, a lot of people thought that Nikki Bella got one hell of a rub uh, in WWE because of her relationship with John Cena. Um, I, I thought that they were still together, but I thought they broke up for the show. Now it looks like they might really be broken up. I still feel sometimes like I feel like I, I might be getting worked. But uh, I think if they were together, I think it would be more of a story of people trying to find them together, uh, take pictures of them, get them up on the internet. Not only valuable to WWE people on uh, Twitter, but uh, that would be valuable to information for TMZ and other information, uh, uh, other, uh, you know, sort of news blogs and and celebrity finders and things like that so maybe this really is a thing i thought that it would be better to have charlotte flair versus ronda rousey as the main event i know that some people thought that might be the actual main event of wrestlemania but uh, for an evolution pay-per-view of pushing the best women in the company that to me makes a lot more sense than nikki bella who she fought in the royal rumble hasn't had a match since wrestlemania 34 33 uh, in Orlando when they did the whole proposal gimmick with uh, The Miz, uh, Maurice, and John Cena. 
is she really main event material? I don't really think she is. Uh, but then again, I, I sort of think that when this Evolution pay-per-view comes around, we're all going to watch it. But because of the way WWE is shoving this down our throat, even though it's not till October, they're treating it like a WrestleMania, mentioning it on every show, every Raw, every SmackDown, every pay-per-view. Something's happening. So by the time it comes around, people might not even care anyways.